Greetings folks, this is the Super Ray from DW Hobby, Dancing Wing Hobby and Banggood. This is an all EPP 1.1 metre wingspan FPV wing with a very large centre pod uh, and a skeleton of plywood. Motor 2212, 2200 kV, ESC 20 amps, 6 inch prop, 2 9 gram servos. Uh, it's designed for 3S 2200 battery to 2800 battery, which is great, very common battery size. Flying weight 650 grams and maximum weight 900 grams. All right, let's have a look inside. A couple of wings, all the plywood bits and pieces. This is like a jigsaw puzzle that we have to put together. Excellent. Motor ESC servos. Now we get a fairly comprehensive instruction manual because it does take a fair bit of putting together, I think. All this um, slotting together reminds me of when I was a kid putting together those balsa and tissue paper gliders that never flew. Here's the wings. It's that uh, sort of flexi EPP that dancing wings are known for. But we have a decent carbon fibre spar there that stiffens it up a fair bit. Fairly flexy. Need to free up those hinges a fair bit and try not to break them. So I'm guessing it's not going to be a super stiff, super fast wing. It's going to be a sort of a floaty around cruisy wing. Here's the uh, kind of the outer covering of the fuselage. This is a bit of fun really, <laughs> very much like a jigsaw puzzle or a old school model from 40 years ago. So I guess the first thing we have to do is look at the instruction manual, see how we put all this stuff together. So step one, we take this bottom section here and punch out all the bits. <laughs> this is. This is kind of fun. A bit different to the other wings today, where you just open the packet, put the prop on and go flying. This actually involves a little bit of gluing together, which I don't mind at all. So we punch out all the bits like this. A4 and A9, there's A4. That's all in the same piece, all nicely laser burnt, laser cut out. C1, C2, these ones here. I won't show you everything. Uh, come back when I've put this all together and we'll talk about it a bit more. Okay, it's all together, time to fly. Uh, we've got a fair bit of wind, but nicely cut grass to land on, which is good. Um, it's an interesting plane. I kind of like the idea of the big capacity, but the way it's built is a bit odd. Uh, the, I find the plywood skeleton, the quality of the plywood isn't good enough. It sort of falls apart in your hand, and you sort of glue these panels on the outside. Um, and there's a wing join system here that is made from fiberglass, carbon fiber covered fiberglass, which is way too strong for what you need. And I just couldn't get it to work properly. So I've just glued the wings on. But anyway, let's see how it flies. It's all a bit floppy and 
strange really. Flexy, rough, but it might make a good slow flying cruising around wing. Let's just see. It was designed for all of this top hatch to pull off, but uh, the way I built it, it, that top hatch ended up too big to fit in, so I've just sort of changed the design and, and uh, put a little hatch on the top, which works pretty well. CG should be 130 millimeters back from the leading edge, which is right up here, which just looks wrong to me. I think the CG should be well, back here somewhere. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Could well be. See, my CG is way back there. So we're very tail heavy there. More nose weight we need. It's going to fly alright though. Another problem I had, there was no uh, prop adapter, so the prop didn't fit on the collet. So I had to use one of my own. More weight, I've got some weights here. I can just pop in the front. And pop them in there. What does that do to the CG? Alright, let's try again. That's very nice. Okay, it flies, <laughs> flies very nicely. It's a nice slow flying wing. There we go. That's what it's all about. Got a bit too much up trim at the moment. That'll, that's lovely, actually. <laughs> that is really nice. Like the other dancing wings, uh, wings, they're they're very much slow flying cruising around wings that are reasonably uh, indestructible being sort of flexible EPP. I'm only on half throttle actually so it, it will actually go quick but I'm sure it'll <laughs> flap like crazy when I crank it up. Not so bad at all actually. I was, I'm very surprised. I was a bit frustrated with the build process so I was prepared to hate it in the air Very easy to fly, stable, lots of wind, but it's doing well. Yep, it's cool. <laughs> Hasn't got a wicked roll rate like some of them do, but let's do a fast pass. Wee, look at the bend. <laughs> okay, it's not designed to go fast. It's flexing all over the place. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, it's not the fast wing. The wings are flexing, the uh, elevons are flexing. <laughs> if you fly around nice and slow, it's very pleasant indeed. I am surprised. Look at that. That's not so bad. Look at this stupid little fin. I don't know what that's there for. I'm quite happy to pull that off, I think. <laughs> Got another little skeg down here, which probably does do a good job. Heaps of space inside. So you could put FPV gear, stabilizers and stuff like that. But you really don't need it on a wing like this. Very flexy fins, but they're fine if you're just cruising around slowly. Very flexy elevons, but again, as long as you don't push it too hard, it's very nice indeed. Uh, so I better put a camera on it.
All right, so I'm actually impressed with the way this thing flies. It's no way it's a race wing. If you want a good race wing, buy one of those uh, Sonic Model AR wings. They're just beautiful, really nice, smooth flying wings. Not the fastest, but just nice to fly. None of the waggles and wiggles and things like that. This wing is, would actually be a good beginner's wing, I think. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. The build is a bit problematic, I have to say. I don't really like the construction materials. The plywood is too delicate. From the manual, the CG is 130 millimeters back from the nose. I think it's meant to be 130 millimeters back from the join there. My CG is right back on that spar. From the nose is there. 130 from the wing join is back there, which is where it should be. So <laughs> they've only got it wrong by oh, 50 millimeters. That's shocking. <laughs> and to get that CG, I've got a 2200 battery there, plus a couple of big metal washers in there. So that's about another 50 grams, I'd say. So it needs more than a 2200 battery to get the balance right. So uh, you probably could put an FPV camera on there and, and transmitter and everything up the front to balance it out. Thanks for watching.